What if I told you that you can bring anyone back to life in minutes? This would be a notion that dances on the edge of reality, bending the corners of what we perceive as the natural order. What you just heard was not a pre-recording, but a recently made audio clip of someone who died on November 16th, 1973. It's not just his voice, but his ideals, philosophies, his manner of describing the thoughts that flow through his head as if his thoughts live on without his body, defying the boundaries of time itself. Now, here's an AI tool that you can use to recreate anyone's voice. This technology can save you months of work. Fun fact, this is actually the same method on how they mixed Vader's iconic voice. Have you come to destroy me? Obi-Wan. Voiced by James Errol Jones with Anakin Skywalker's voice. This is where the fun begins. In the last episode of the show Obi-Wan. I am not your failure. Obi-Wan. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. This was achieved by Disney using similar technology by a company called Respeecher, and as a result, the Vader voice for the entire show is actually made by AI. Step 1. I used Alan Watts' voice, and to do that, I looked in the public domain for his lectures and any public speaking he might have done in the past. Now, I didn't find too much, so I actually went back to YouTube, and I looked for something without the background music playing. Once I found that, I used a site called TubeRipper. All you have to do is copy and paste the link of the video, and then go ahead and download the audio file. Step 2. Now using Eleven Labs, I uploaded the MP3 files of the voices to the voice lab, and I will say the more samples you have the better, but they don't have to be longer than 5 minutes, it will not make much of a difference. Step 3. Now here's how I made it sound like it was thought and spoken by Alan Watts himself. I opened up ChatGPT and all I did was ask it, tell me what Alan Watts would say about having a studio to work properly for video editing. Now it didn't give it to me as it was coming out of Alan Watts mouth. Let's try this again, but write this as if you were him to make it sound like him. And that worked out perfectly. So after reviewing and any minor modifications, we're ready for... Step 4. Copy and paste everything and upload to 11 Labs. Open up the voice settings tab and play with the stability and the clarity. I will say the less stability there is, the more of a personality the voice will have. Although if you go way too far, you could actually hear some really interesting things. Things that might sound unhuman. I typically have less stability around the 30% mark and a high clarity around the 90 mark. Step 5. After generating, upload the voiceover into your software of choice. Now, I added an old radio sound filter to make it sound like it was from the 50s and 60s. Now, here's a bonus step that you can use to really level up your audio game forever. There's an AI tool that I use that makes everything sound like a podcast. All you have to do is upload the MP3 file in there and it will fix any audio into making it sound like you recorded with an expensive podcast mic. Now, if you want to hear what little project I made just for fun with the voice cloning tool, click on this video here.